I don't know how everyone is out at 2.58 on a freaking Thursday and they have money to get a $7.50 grilled cheese in a tie-dye shirt. What do you do? What do you do? Hi, I'm Kate and believe it or not, I am fully single. Los Angeles is very hard for dating. I really don't know if it's just me or the city that I'm in, so I figured I'll go to different cities and see if I'm more dateable there. So Kate, what are what are you what are you looking for now that you've done <laughs> San Fran? Like what 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 is your your kind of like what you look for in profiles? I look if they're like a little funny. Uh -huh. They have like a funny-ish profile. I like that. I definitely look for whether or not they have a weird mirror selfie. So I've gone on dates in Los Angeles. I've gone on dates in San Francisco. Next up, we went to Portland. Wanting to make the best use of my time, I started swiping on people in Portland while I was still in LA. This one is sarcastic, witty, caring, cuddler. Ugh, no. He's a cuddler? I will always swipe no if you say you're a cuddler. That is gross. It's a little creepy. I feel like cuddling is a given. So off we went to Portland. I have a hole in my sock. Off to a great start. <laughs> We're gonna find love. Portland, baby. <laughs> You're in a garden? Going to garden. I think you look really cool. Like you look like a cool girl that I would want to hang out with. Thank you. But Eli thinks you're I, gonna paint a warehouse. I, I think you're gonna paint a warehouse. It's, it's, it's the whole it's thing. It's very MC Hammer. <gasps> like I'm gonna go paint. <gasps> if MC Hammer had a side gig where he had to paint What if houses? it was like this? What if it was, yeah. What if it was like this? Then great. <gasps> you don't need anything else. I mean, you look great. I think you could still use some accessories, but... I, I don't have great. any. I had to go through airport security. I feel like I hate dating, but I'm, I'm excited to... It, I'm gonna go in thinking that we're gonna be friends and then see if maybe I wanna make out with that friend. <laughs> <laughs> the way I look at it is if you had a bunch of jelly beans, and I don't like licorice jelly beans. Right now, my life is just a jar full of licorice jelly beans, and one cherry jelly bean, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. It's on, I'm gonna have that cherry jelly bean. Now if a tutti frutti was thrown into the mix, I'd put the cherry jelly bean to the side. But I'm living a life of licorice jelly beans and hoping for a tutti frutti and there's a bunch of, there's a couple cherries here and there, but I'm just not willing to eat the cherry jelly bean. Does that make sense? A little bit. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm Kate. Good. Marley, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Of course. She seems fun. I'm really interested to see how things go. I'm looking forward to it. I didn't like beer until I went to Europe. Sometimes I want a porter, sometimes a pilsner. Love it. I don't know a lot, but I know it's mostly always delicious. I usually just look for like the alcohol content and just be like, I guess I'll just learn to like this one. <laughs> Marley was pretty cool. What sold me on Marley is that he had a Hawaiian shirt on in his picture and I, boy do I love Hawaiian shirts. And then he wore one to the date, so that was awesome. Our first date was at a brewery tour. <laughs> brewery tour. <laughs> brewery. Brewery. February. Brewery. February. Brewery. February. Brewery. February. Brewery. February. Brewery tour. Brewery tour. Only problem was the date was with a recently engaged couple who had gotten engaged days before. I had planned on getting, on proposing some point during the trip, but it was the 4th of July at sunset. <gasps> yeah, I got, oh my yeah. goodness. Did you cry? Yeah. Wins, yeah. Of course. First dates are awkward enough. Why not throw it all on there? Just pepper it with all the awkward you possibly can. And beer. The beer was a nice touch. It, that would help. I love sour beer. Yep. 
I don't, they got like sour beer. I think I love sour beer. Uh, this is my favorite beer. There's a lot of small talk. Would you consider the hot dog a sandwich? I, By definition, I think it's a sandwich. By definition, it's a sandwich. But yeah. what's the alternative? Is it a taco? Just not a sandwich. No. It's a hot dog. It's its own breed. What about a bratwurst? What about a... Uh, that's what I like, that's what what about, I like to bring it's up. It's literally a sub sandwich, but just turned a different way. Two things that are holding substance that mm. are also food. It's either or thing two that pieces of bread or one big piece of bread with a slit. So it, a both, a, both a taco and a burrito have no slit. A, Good reasoning. That's fair. If you want to date in a group, if you're more comfortable with a group dating situation, maybe a tour would be right for you. Just maybe it won't be just you and another recently engaged couple. Enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank you. you take care. All right. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a nice walk. It was really fun. She seemed like a person I would enjoy getting to know or want to get to know more. First dates are just difficult. Would you consider the hot dog a sandwich? My second date was with Alex. Uh, this guy Alex and I were talking and we liked some of the same music and we were into the same music in high school, which I always think is very interesting, like who's some, like what music someone's into in high school. Whenever I do Tinder, just look through all the pictures, read the bio really quick. I was like, oh, that's, that's fun um, from LA. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'll swipe. Oh, he's originally from Nebraska. And the only other person I know from Nebraska is Lady Gaga. I like her. Okay. I would like to preface this with, I had just gone on a brewery tour. The brewery. I was tired, dating is hard, and sometimes, listen, I'm really big into me time. <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready to date. Cheers. Cheers. That is a big one. <laughs> I really like television. That's like my my yeah. favorite thing in the world. I love mm -hmm. television. It might be because I'm sad in general, or it might just be because television's great. I don't know yet. Yeah. Do you like New Girl? Yes, great show. If your dream guy could be a show, what show would it be? This doesn't mean it's my favorite show, but my dream guy would probably be New Girl. It's a nice warm show. I want a warm man. <laughs> kind of a movie buff. Okay. Uh, my first job in high school was at a uh, movie theater. I'm a big Star Wars, Game of Thrones guy. Uh, she's Harry Potter. Then we started talking about different fandoms, and I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, and he really likes Star Wars. Totally all right. I respect Harry Potter. Did you watch, uh, what, what was it, Rogue One? That's what it was Rogue called? One, yeah, that was a good Did you watch one. It? It was I liked good. it. I was so sad to hate that. That was episode seven. That it wasn't? In. It's not Rogue One. Rogue One was the spin-off. So he died in episode seven. Correct. And then I did not see Rogue One. <laughs> Rogue One you should see. It's oh, okay. very good. What's and, her name? Uh, Jin Erso. But her name in the... Wait, her name in the movie is Jin Erso. It's... Is it full. really? Yeah. Her name was Jin? J-Y-N. The Jedi. She wasn't a Jedi. She was Ray was a Ray, Jedi. That's, that's what episode about. seven. She's not in this? She is not in that. Really? Really? The Where timeline, is I? <laughs> I have Jesus. no idea. So Kate's currently freaking out. Uh, we're out here shooting interviews with lovely yeah. people and she's texting us furiously to help her out. But uh, I kind of want to see what happens and see how she gets out of it. Fuck you, Eli. You're really, really rude. I didn't know the difference between episode seven and Rogue One. I'm not the right girl for you, Alex. I don't think Tinder works. <laughs> I've never been on a Tinder date. He just talked about all the money he makes. I'm like, I'm so bored. Just buy me another glass of wine. Well, thank you for meeting me here. All right. Um, I'm going to give you a hug now. OK. We, we are hugging. And I'm going to say goodbye. OK. <laughs> Get home right, safely. Bye. I thought it went really well. Felt like we had a lot to talk about. The second date went okay. I like that he uh, was into fandoms. She has her fandoms. I have mine. Yeah. It wasn't much of a spark or anything. I don't know. I don't know if I'm excited for the third date. If you don't have a connection with someone either, just don't go forward with it. I would have wasted his time, to be honest. He already came all the way out there. Post date chicken. Alex texted me. Oh no. Wait a second, we never got that fried chicken. I'm being a little bit of a dick, but I'm trying to be playful. I said, LOL, we did, but we have to leave soon. That's good.
I just found out that Portland has the most college educated single women per capita and I came to the wrong city. I came to the right city. So our third date was at Art Uncorked. You guys like active on dating apps? We yeah. go through phases. Yeah, you yeah, you'll phase. get, yeah, I've you'll get. I've deleted it and re-downloaded yeah. it a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Good, good, good. How are you? Good. All good. Right. Ready to paint. I thought she was cute. I liked her photos and her bio explained what she was trying to do. So, you know, I was like, that'd be a cool experience, you know, be on BuzzFeed. And we're going to paint this lovely galaxy image. So this is going to be super exciting to Mount Hood. The dating life in Portland is, is, is very open, um, very open-minded, I guess. It's very weird too, because there's a lot of hardcore hipsters and you can never really know what to expect, I guess. Cheers. Cheers. All right. I think first dates are always, will forever be awkward, no matter who you're with or where you go. First dates are so awkward. It's so hard to watch these. Yeah, it makes me question if I ever want to date again. Already, I have a hard time talking with people and getting intimate with them, just if no cameras are there. Obviously, Kate, don't do the show. Yeah, no, I know, but we did it anyway, so so that's just where that's just what happened. I'm just being honest with you guys. To be fair, I got to see in every art class I've ever taken. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun because what's actually happening is that we're just painting separate pictures, <laughs> but just I'm really, trying, really, I'm to, like, really, really close to one another. Oh, I just see that. <laughs> <laughs> we may have messed up. <laughs> it's supposed to be one picture. Like we're falling behind. He's been drinking a lot of wine. I don't yeah. know if you noticed. He's been drinking a shit ton of wine. I mean, I would too. It's free. <laughs> True. You guys are really going for the volcano aspect. <laughs> <laughs> that's ex that's all on purpose. Are we nailing it right now? Yeah, I think so. I think we are. Yeah, you are nailing it. No, you can keep going. I think it's about texture. Yeah. What we lack in precision, we make up for in texture. <laughs> in a million coats of paint. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was weird. It was fun. It was fun. It was good. It was We're good. both really bad at this. Yeah. 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 Thank, right. thank well, God for alcohol. All uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'll yeah. talk to you soon. Yeah, right, bye. See you. bye. I feel like the date went really well. It was really a lot of fun. Something new I've never done before, so. I think we did have a lot of things in common. I would probably go out on another date with him. Realistically, I feel like I'd be more of a friend for Kate, like with Kate. Uh, she seems like a funny person. But I guess we didn't really have more, we didn't really have a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, I guess, connection. What? Are you, see, this is why I'm not good at dating. I liked him out of, most out of all of them. But I don't like anyone. All in all, I'd say we could tack Portland up on the list of places that I'm undateable. Portland was a pretty affordable city. It wasn't really a city for me. They're super weird. They like that they're weird, which is totally cool. I just didn't fit in. I need a place with a little bit more energy and excitement. So let us know where we should go next. Please, everyone, say Nashville. Say Nashville in the comments.